you today's trade. Today is Thursday, February 16th of 2023, and we did four trades today. To start the morning out, we rolled a position in BLK. We see the chart here. Kind of interesting day in the market looking here at the 15 minute chart. The, the stock gap down and then came back to pretty much fill the gap. And then at the end of the day, it faded back down to around its low. And so we see here that this area that had been serving as support for it around this red 200 exponential moving average, around 700, that again served as support for it. It closed above that, the low was just above that, but not by much. But it gave us an opportunity to roll our strike price. And if you notice here, we bought to close the February 17th 700R put, and we rolled it down by $10. And the reason why I did that is just in case the market declines, the market is, has been high and the SP 500 is still trading pretty close to its high over the past few weeks. So I wanted to give us some room in this position for the market to go against us and we still be okay. So we were able to drop it by $10. So we see our strike price here, the 690. Be okay would have to be below the 200 moving average. And it'd be right here, this area that sort of support for it back in the middle of December. So we improved our position by $10 per share. And we're able to still walk away with $11 or $1,100 for this trade. And we also just bought, just for a black swan event, we bought the 500R put option for protection. Now the next position here is CCI. And with this position, we had several legs in this trade. We actually rolled our short call and our short put. So let's kind of talk through it here. So with our, our February 17th, 140 put, you see we actually rolled that put down by $5. So we, we benefited our position there, but our covered call, we rolled that down also. And here's my thinking. CCI had been looking good. It made a higher high here, but it ran into resistance at that red 200 moving average on the daily chart. It then found support along this green 50 moving average over the past month or so, but now it's broken below that moving average. So it appears that it's now testing this air support from back in early December and November, which is around 136. So although we had pretty good volume these two days, today was a down day and the volume shows green because it ended up being up for the day. But you see it started lower and worked its way up to a higher close. So this, this candlestick is green. So buyers did come in throughout the day and buy the stock back up. But with it breaking below this green 50 exponential moving average, to me it's showing some weakness. So I felt comfortable. We rolled our, our cover call down from about here, 145, down to this 140 area. So pretty close to at the money. But we also rolled our short put option. Remember the 140? Rolled our short put option from 140 down here to 135. So around this area that served as support for it. Looking at the weekly chart, we see that it made a higher low here. It made a higher high, but found resistance at this 250 exponential moving average. So now it's coming down. So will it go as low as this 131? Well, it could if it retests that low, or it, it may find support right here above these candlesticks here from back in December. Quite possible this will serve as support for. So let's have to see. Um, buyers are showing pretty good strength over the past several months. And on the, on the monthly chart, the daily chart, kind of a more even distribution. And as you see, it's kind of traded sideways for several months here. Now Tyson chickens, this is one we, we started uh, yesterday, I believe, or a couple days ago. And we're just adding to it. Again, Tyson, in spite of the market, really kind of going, having a decent down day today, down 1.45%. Tyson's only down 0.91. And again, we see it just continues to trade sideways over the past several weeks. It's stuck between 59 and 62. And again, it pretty much didn't go anywhere today. As you can see in the, the 15 minute chart here, it closed right about where it opened. So although the market was down and it, it was down because it gapped down, but the buyers and sellers were pretty even throughout the day after the gap down. So I felt comfortable adding to this position is still finding support where it found support back in, in the end of December around this just above 60. So we're going to add to it slowly. And if it, the return continues to be good, then we'll keep adding until we get a full position size. This is a company I like. You know, if we're heading into a recession, people got to have food. And as long as it's well run, which Tyson does a, a good job. They have issues like everyone else from time to time, but it's well run. 
But just the, the one negative here is the weekly chart. We see the sellers have been pretty strong on high volume. But again, this area is still serving as support. So if it breaks below this $59 area, at that point, we won't add to it. We'll wait and see what happens. But for now, it's still finding support there, so we'll keep adding. Finally, Realty Income, we just we got out of this one. This is a company I don't mind trading through earnings. And if we hadn't been able to close this out today, I would have just rolled it most likely tomorrow. But they are announcing earnings, so I just decided to go ahead and close it out if we could buy it back for a nickel, which is what we did. And we'll look to go back in this position after earnings. So that's our trades for today. We have one more day till our third Friday of the month main option expiration day, and we'll see what trades we do tomorrow.